Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. It's so fun to hang out with you. I'm going to paint a rooster. Why? Because I love to paint animals. I sell quite a few rooster paintings and I just look at this. He's, oh, sorry about the glare on my window. Let's see. Ah, he's like strutting running. Isn't that fun? And I like that the photographer Notice that the only color is really the comb and wattle and then the yellow feet. I like that too. Um, I'm going to paint it on a 12 by 18 inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I was going to pick it up, but I've got some other things sitting here. That's, that's what it looks like. I get them on Amazon because I have Amazon Prime. I think if you go to their website, I haven't checked it out lately, they still have free shipping. Um, you can let me know if you check it out in the comments. I'm going to use, I don't know where to put things. <laughs> oh, here, I can show you this now. It's an inch and a half thick. They're really nice. I gessoed it with clear gesso. I use Liquitex brand. You don't have to. The head shaking nose, like you don't have to. So I'm going to use, I'm going to need some red and yellow. So I'm going to use Quinacridone Magenta and Cad Yellow Medium Hue. <laughs> And I'm going to use Burnt Umber. I may end up having to mix some of this color too because I don't have much left in this tube. And Mars Black. So to make a brown, I would use the Cad Yellow, the Quinacridone, and the Black. You can make brown a bunch of different ways. And then Titanium White. Okay, I want to get this background painted. I'm going to follow the cues from the reference photo and just have browns in the background and go back and forth. And I want to get it painted before my meeting. So I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, I don't think I've set the table. <laughs> I use this big two inch, it's not very thick, flat brush from, from Blick Art Materials. I think it came in a pack of three different sizes. Like I've got this one, it's a three inch, and then I've got another one here. Really inexpensive, one inch. And I took my burnt umber and my black and my Cad Yellow, so I burnt Umber, Mars Black, Titanium White, Cad Yellow, and just followed, similar to the reference photo, darker up here. Um, sometimes I put in some dry brushing, like I'd paint the sides and I'd bring what was over on the sides onto the front just to blend it in. Put some gray in it and just worked my, I don't know how far down you can see, worked my way down. Here, we can do this. Can back up a little maybe. Do it slowly so it's not too wiggly. And it goes to yellow down at the bottom. Okay, so we can scoot back in now. It feels good. I'm painting it my it's not a very big easel, but I'm painting it my larger easel sitting down. I haven't done that maybe in two months. So it feels really good. Sorry about all the wiggling. I think we'll call that close enough. And so now I added um, quinacridone magenta to my palette. So I'm just gonna use basically, I call this a red, even though it'll mix a pretty red, like fire engine red. Yellow, brown, black, white are my colors. And so now I've got the red and I made an orange and then I'm just um, using Oh, it's a little quarter inch filbert. I think I got it on Amazon. 
I think it was Zhu, Z-H-U, Ting, T-I-N-G. They're okay. They're just a little too cheap. I mean, the, the paint pops off real quick, the handles swell. But you know, if you want a really cheap brush, there's, and you don't mind those things happening, nothing wrong with it. And I'm also using a number four round from Princeton. And I am literally, I thought I wanted to pop in, one, because I haven't set the table, and two, I am literally painting shapes and you can see them. And the shape started more simple, where I just painted sort of the magenta. And then I painted like yellow with white or orange with white for the highlight areas. And that's one thing great about a strongly, strongly lit reference photo. Let's see if I can get this in here. Is you can see that. And I'm not getting it exact, I'm close. But you can really see it. And then one thing while I'm thinking about it, I wanna point out, is I realized when I drew it on, I didn't realize it. I hate freckles, but part of the waddle here looks white on this side. And I'm making it kind of bright color. I could make it white. I decided, I can always come back and make it like a white color, but I thought for now I would make it more strong color. And what I might be able to do, I don't know, is mix a red and just glaze all over, glaze over all the areas. There's some uh, little feathers up in here. But I just keep building on it. And then the little bit of the mouth, let's see if I can, I can get this a little closer. Okay, the phone is actually in front of me, so I can sort of see, hopefully you guys can see this. The little line in the mouth is actually the brown background. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I hope some of those comments help, but this is what they mean by blocking in. It kind of looks blocky. It looks blocky in the photo because of the strong lighting. And then I can build it up to whatever color I want. But I've already got the shadows in there, the highlights in there. So it'll, it'll make it easier. It should make it easier. You guys can let me know. Everybody paints a little differently. Every artist has different tips. So, and that's all good. You can pick up things you like from Everybody, I love learning from other artists. Okay, I'm gonna to continue to work on this fun rooster and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I wanted to pop in. So I don't think I've talked about light direction. The light is coming from the right, pretty much the middle. I know I'm zoomed in, but if you look, <laughs> hopefully not too much glare with my window. I'm gonna hold it at an angle. You know, the right side of the foot, the right side of the leg, the right side of the body, you know, it's pretty much in the middle. And then one of the most fun parts for me, my, in my opinion, is this, oh gosh, videoing in the afternoon isn't always the best, is this big feather right here. The rest of them don't matter as much to me. I didn't paint it exactly as it is over there, on this side over here. And then I just took a, um, oh, what I had over here. A lot of times I use flat brushes, but I had some really inexpensive filberts. That's probably a 3 8 inch. I think it's bigger than a quarter. Oops, and it needs to be glued. <laughs> That's funny. And just um, swiped some color. And then I came back and changed the, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's lighter brown there, darker brown there, and just played with it a little bit. And then here, I didn't paint everything that was over there in the reference photo. I just indicated that there's some sort of black feather back here. And then I think, 
what I'm gonna do is take maybe a little, the little round. I don't know if I've talked about the brushes I'm using. This is a quarter inch filbert. Got it on Amazon. I know I talked about this one. Um, this is a four inch round from Princeton. And this one I said is probably, this. these two are the same company. This is probably a three eighths filbert. Flat brush will work just fine too. But I'm thinking, okay, it's, it's really helpful to have to and to help improve your painting and what and help you improve what you see i'm getting better if you go back and look at my youtube videos you can tell i'm getting better at seeing painting drawing the whole thing practice you know practice 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 but when you have a reference photo with strong lighting it really can help you see the shapes better the values better and i think it can help you be a better painter you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. So it isn't white. Well, it is white right here in my reference photo, but I'm gonna make, whoops, I'm gonna make this white. So I get a lot of contrast because the face naturally pulls your attention. This feather is fun. You will go down to the yellow feet. I mean, you'll look at the whole thing, but I really like pushing the contrast right up here. I'm gonna swipe in some white ones and it may need another, it probably will need another coat after it dries. And I'm probably gonna put a little, just put a little white in there. Okay, I hope those comments help. I might even bring this up again. I think I painted it twice. This would be my third time putting white on there. And then I can come back. Well, this popped into my head. So I could pull you up a little bit, take a little titanium white, a little cad yellow, and like have a glint of, oh, maybe we just wanna take, you know, sometimes you don't get it right the first time. Let's just take a little yellow. It's gonna be transparent. Cause my Liquitex cad yellow medium in the basic, basic line is semi-transparent. Just pop a little yellow up here. Grab your attention. We can always paint it out if we don't like it when we're done. And I might even reinforce the yellow here. I think I've done that a couple times. And I'm probably gonna put, I'm gonna have to put that white highlight back in. Sometimes it doesn't change it and sometimes you can bring it up just a little stronger. Okay guys, I hope those comments help. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I thought I'd pop in with a few thoughts. So I have a lot of them, hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> and watch me just have two. Okay, so let's start with warmer on the light side, cooler on the shadow side. Um, you could paint this as loose as this. I'm letting the background show through, which is really nice. I may cover it up more to make it more solid but that gives you a lot of definition. And my feathers are much larger than you see in the reference photo. There's a lot of little specks that I may or may not put in. I put some in over here. You know, those are all things that you can play with, but it says rooster feathers. You know, it, they don't have to be the exact length. You can just um, indicate feathers. And then here I'm just kind of indicating with straight up burnt umber, you know, they're shorter feathers. There's these little 
here I'll just show you waves of pattern that go through it so you can see that so why I'm thinking of it I, I, this is one of the thoughts I wanted to remember is I've been working on this so these tail feathers which I went I've been going slow these tail feathers which I just love they're loose but they're very deliberate and these are loose but quite deliberate hopefully you can't hear that hammering <laughs> sorry if you can't um gosh maybe four hours oh yeah it's five o'clock i think i started about one 1 15. so yeah four hours this is maybe grayer than it needs to be but i want to define it oh and the another thing too is sometimes i'll put in more contrast than is in the reference photo and then this is more yellow than I see in the reference photo. So that's where I like having the reference photo for ideas. Like I really pulled out a long wispy here that isn't there because it's fun when I'm thinking of that. And then you don't have to paint. I mean, you can paint exactly what you see, but I like just saying, knowing like, okay, there's these little feathers here. I think there might be tail feathers poking out from behind, right? here and then it is a little bit grayer right here but not that gray but I can come back and refine it I can leave it you know that's where painting is fun you get you get to decide as the artist and if you don't know it's okay that's why I really recommend having a reference photo you can you know you can always refer back to that for ideas I think that's all the comments yeah, so I put in more contrast right there. Oh, here, let's show you. I haven't done up close. And the, the other thing too is, so my phone is at a little bit of an angle just to my left. My shoulder is that far from the phone, just to give you an idea. I also need to step back, but I can, I can look in my um, phone as I'm videoing and it's really smooths it out and it looks neat. And then if you get close, you can see where maybe I want to put, I don't know, it still looks pretty good when I'm looking at my phone. I'm going to put more layers and play with this more just because I really liked how those turned out. And I didn't paint every feather that I see in the reference photo. And I just kind of hinted at feathers that might be there. Sometimes you don't know to do that or not, but you don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so. There's a great tip. If you don't want to deal with it, just don't talk about it too much. You know, so I didn't talk about where these feathers go that much right there. Hopefully that helps. He's kind of angry. He's definitely strutting towards something. Oh, I know another thing that I was going to talk, I wanted to talk about. So one thing I realize I'm starting, I'm doing, and I hope I may lose it, but so I'm using and let's see oh yeah you can see I'm using the yellow to help lead you I might make that more yellow it's dry. it's it'll dry like a half shade darker a little bit more darker when it's really thin and watery like that but I'm using the yellow to lead you through the painting the red's a big bullseye so you're you're gonna always keep going between feet and and face but it's still fun to kind of and then like a little white spot is entertaining Little white spot right in there oh I'm using I've been using this brush because it's about the size of the feathers and then like I might just stick it on here and smush it and if I don't like it I might try it again and then it leaves little bits of white so that area just like here and here is a little bit more done than all of this area and then you don't have to put in a bunch more detail. I just want it darker for more drama. But you, would, you wouldn't have to do that. And then another thing I've been thinking about, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but to me it's part of the fun of painting and playing, is it might be kind of fun to, I've got a pretty rough horizontal background, maybe just throw in some like palette knife or credit card. I'm looking to see if I have a credit card sitting here. I don't. I don't have a big palette knife. Actually, this one would be big enough. Just dip it in the paint 
and maybe just throw in some lines. Or we could put in some weeds. I love putting in weeds. Okay, guys. Hopefully some of those comments were helpful. It's so fun to hang out with you, and I'm not saying goodbye. I just, I'm having a blast today hanging out with you. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, a couple comments and then I thought I would paint some of the white feathers in real time. So I'm using, I've been using this mostly um, for the painting, this 3 8 inch filbert. I have come in with a little round for some more detail areas. Let's see. I think I've got this. I keep, I think I've put four or five layers, depending on how you count layers. Just like, okay, I would say to myself, I need a couple of shapes that kind of indicate the shape the feathers can grow in and the shape of the chicken, but they don't all have to be right. And then this seemed to go together quicker, which is funny. Of course, it's smaller. That could be it. I do have some soft edges in that the values are similar. Not a lot, a little bit there. Right there, you kind of lose the edge a little bit. Not really, because I've got a dark line there. That can be something fun to do. Okay. Um, oh, and another thing. <laughs> so one thing that can help, you know, I was saying cool over here in the shadow, warm over here. Totally works great. But then I take some of this warm and I put a little there, a little there, a little there, just to help I don't know, I just think it's fun. Helps. I think it helps unify it, it might not. I put a little orange right here, just for, kind of like I was using the yellows, just for fun. Okay, white. So I'm gonna take that filbert I just showed you, grab some water. It's winter time here and my paints really wanna, that was too much water, really wanna uh, dry fast, which is okay. Just. That can be helpful too. You can do layers quite quickly. You don't have to dry it with a hair dryer. Ah, I keep grabbing too much water. So what I want is thin white paint because I don't think I want it white, white. I've got white, white there, white, white there. Little bits. So I want thin white because I want it to dry darker. I don't walk and talk and chew gum very well here. Can you guys do that? Okay, talk and paint. So now I'm looking at my reference photo and there's, there's, a, there's a white there. And probably we get away with... I just swipe. Sometimes I turn my brush on the edge. Edge meaning I'll get a skinnier stroke and sometimes I do fatter stroke. And I'm letting the background show through a little bit. I'm, I'm liking it. We'll see. See how much I cover it up. I'm looking at my reference photo. So it'll help you be a little more random if you slow down and be more deliberate too. It's hard to be random. A lot of times I have to go back and just fix it because I'll start just, I'll be, it'll be fun to make the strokes quicker. And then I messed up. Oop, that got longer than I wanted. It's kind of, if you're quick enough, you can erase it with your finger or smudge it. So now I'm thinking, let's have some light ones. Oh, that's a nice, 
Sometimes you just get a nice stroke. It's one of those Bob Ross happy accident things. No, I'm not. When I go faster, I'm not looking at the reference photo. Kind of beat up on it a little bit. And sometimes I'll get it and I'm like, wow, that was good. And it went pretty quick. And then sometimes it just takes me several, several tries. Keep working it till you're happy. Okay, I wanna put, and if this doesn't work, um, you can come back and glaze over it. Like right here, I actually glazed some of my orange right over there. But it has like a little, I like that there's just a little pop of white. So I grabbed a little thicker paint and I'm just taking cues from the reference photo. There's these little catches of light. I've got one down here, but it's more gray. It might look white just because of the contrast. I might need to knock that one down a little bit. I think those are going to need another coat, another layer of white. Sometimes it's like I'm swiping and barely anything's happening. Um, it's okay. If you want it more like the reference photo, shorter strokes, I'm, I'm doing longer ones because it's fun to swipe. Now I'm not looking at the reference photo. We might be there. That might be plenty light enough. It makes me want to kind of dry brush. not much paint in my brush and just kind of play a little bit. I don't know if that did anything or not, but it was fun. <laughs> okay, guys, this might be done as far as the rooster. I'm going to step back from it and then I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm calling it done. Let's see. I have thoughts. <laughs> I glazed the, the white I put down in real time. I came back with this sort of, gosh, it's a horrible color, really. I don't know how it looks in the video. Hang on, I'm putting a couple things away. I don't know. It's, it's a kind of a gross color. <laughs> but it, it's more yellow. That one's more brown. This one's more red. I'm, I'm making mud. Uh, sometimes artists say, you know, don't make mud. Don't do too much. Don't make mud can be really good. Um, I paint a lot of intense color paintings, but this one I want like the wattle pops. It's really the only red. There's a little red there. Um, you know, it's mostly kind of a brownish grayish painting. Um, and I like that. I think it can really help you. Okay, so I glazed down those whites that I painted with this color, and then I came back with some stronger white, thicker white. And I, I th I'm looking, yeah, I like that. I've got a lot of nice contrast going. And then I'm looking at this going, I've got a nice rooster painting. And from the beginning, I was thinking some, like I mentioned the credit card and the palette knife and getting some um, more texture going. And I was nervous, scared to do it. And then I thought, well, let's just put some in down here. You know, I put 
you can't really see it, but I put a little in right there and kind of got braver. Here, I'll show you what I used. I just have this really inexpensive plastic palette knife. And, but it's, it was long, so I, and I didn't do it, but like I could put, I could stamp the edge on it if I wanted to. But I ended up just kind of mixing on the bottom and the tip and then just trying to draw lines with it and it wouldn't do it and I'd get more paint and it wouldn't do it. But that's okay because then I didn't feel quite so scared, if that makes sense. Here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Grab some of that yellowy. Yeah, it just, there we go. It just doesn't want to do it. But I get these fun little marks and splatters almost like it's, I, I had a couple different titles for this one, but I'm gonna call it mudding. Cause it's almost like the, the mud's flying up. Here, if I get it closer, maybe you can see. So I, I basically used these muted colors and this gray color for the mud. Let's get it closer. Maybe you can see it better. It's not fun. Really hard to control. Really scary. <laughs> oh, there's freckles. I don't know if you can hear her howling. But um, it's also the result. Then you get excited because it's like, oh, that's just fun. And you don't have to like get the whole line. Let's see if I can do this. Here, I'll grab something to point with. So like I... You know, I try to draw a whole line, but it won't do it. But that's okay. It's closure. Like your eye will complete it and see it as a splash or as grass or something. Hopefully that was in frame. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to talk to Freckles. Okay, I've got Freckles on my lap. <laughs> do you want to say hi? She probably doesn't. I haven't done this in a long time. Yeah, she really just doesn't like to have her photo taken or be on video. Okay, um, hmm, I don't know where I left off. Oh, so one thing that this does is add more texture, more interest, more excitement, more movement. I don't know if you can see this one, but this one kind of comes off the hip. I think that's a hip. Oh, hey, Freckles, you gonna help? Here, I'll get it closer. So this comes off the hip, if you can see it. The values are really close. And then this kind of goes this way. And then this follows the rooster over here, some of the feathers. Just adds more motion, more excitement. I decided to hold up again in case you can see it better when it's closer. And then when, the val when you have more contrast, you get like little pops of color. When it's more similar, it, it kind of gets pushed back or the light isn't catching it if that makes sense and you don't need that many I'm looking I'm evaluating as I'm oh hi freckles you gonna rub my painting <laughs> my painting is now blessed I think that's fun I was scared to do it which I wanted to let you know and it is 8 30 at night I did stop for dinner so another two hours um, since I last mentioned how much time. Probably to work on this and this. I could bring that foot back up again. I, I've kind of played with glazing color. It, it, it's good. You, you, you can keep going and going and going and going. But I think it's good. I really like it. I hope some of my comments helped. It's been really fun to hang out with you. I super appreciate your guys' support. I could not do this without all of you. And I just hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.